scale, we've kind of scaled it up a little bit. We've gone through for a 300 point battle. We will be doing an unboxing so you can kind of see the core set. We're not using the core set exactly, we're using a few extra characters. So let's get down and see who we have. So, 300 points. We've got Dale, he's 25 points, and he's got a Remington 700 um, rifle. Let me see if I can show you that. Um, he's pretty good. He has red melee, a white, uh, a white for his um, a shoot, and then two reds for his defense. We've then got Rick Grimes, and so he's uh, he's pretty good. He's got me me uh, white melee, uh, blue shoot, and uh, white um, defense. And then of course we got to take Rick's pistol, and that's 28 points. Then we have Jim. And Jim's just armed with a crowbar. We have Shane, uh, his partner. is 54 points, and we've given him a 22 revolver. Um, we then have Morgan, who has a shovel. And then we have Carl. I don't think anyone can say Carl without saying Carl. <laughs> uh, so he's got, we've gone for the uh, training shop suit over this one. Uh, lucky hat and a small knife. So that is it. So basically the scene is that um, our, our group have found a, uh, a church, an abandoned church, um, way over in the distance with a few extra buildings, lots of supplies. Um, they've kind of parked up near the railroad, um, and basically I believe there is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven supply counters, eight, sorry. So they're going to get eight uh, supply counters. It's just me playing, I'm playing the solo version which is great because you can just play solo. Um, and yeah, let's, let's kind of... Uh, Let's take a look and see what happens. Okay guys, so as I say, the band of the survivors have got seven supply tokens to get before the threat checker hits 18. Um, this is our first time doing this, so if you have any kind of, you know, comments on good or bad, negative or positive, you know, uh, ideas as to how we can improve this. Please, please, uh, don't be afraid to tell us. I'm, I'm loving the, uh, the feedback we get on, on our videos. So, let's go into it. So, I'm sorry if I walk backwards and forwards. I put the camera kind of up in the uh, ceiling and I'll try not to. Um, but sometimes it's a little hard to kind of, you know, walk backwards and forwards uh, without getting in the way. So, Okay, survivor turn. Let's see. So I'm thinking we're gonna go with with uh, Dale. Dale is he's got a great rifle. Um, he's got a uh, 30 inch range on that. So pretty much, I'm gonna have to use the big tape measure for this. But he can pretty much hit any of the zombies on. Ah, I'm thinking. Right in here there's a couple, there's a supply token right here, and then there's a couple of zombies around. I'm, I might take this one out. Um, there's no one within 10, um, so basically uh, when you fire it causes mayhem, and then anyone within the mayhem ruler would move forward, and he's too far out of range, so it's kind of good. I may actually keep him back, I'm, my plan is kind of... Keep him back, pick off zombies as we go, and kind of sp spread my group up. I'm a little worried getting the one up by the church. I don't actually know if we can see the church. Let me try and see if I can make it. There we go. So the one up by the church is kind of surrounded by a few. So that's going to be... So, okay, so we're going to do Dale. Um, he is going to move forward a little bit, just so I can kind of make sure I get enough range. Um, he's still out of range of everyone. And yeah, he has the line of sight. So, he is going to shoot straight across. He's going to shoot this one right here. This walker. Now, the walking dead, they're not calling them zombies. So they could be calling them the walking dead. So, it's kind of quirky. Um, just a shameless plug. We have some great dice trays. Uh, hop, hop over to Hob Honda Hobbies. Uh, my wife makes them and they are great. So let's see. 
So, on Dale, he normally has a white to shoot, um, but the rifle adds an extra two red dice. So let me see if I can show you that. So I white to shoot, but the Remington adds two red dice. So, basically it means he gets a white and two red. Now they go up in scale, as I said, red is the lowest, then white, um, and then blue. So, two reds and a white. Now, the only way to kill a walker is to get a headshot. This is a headshot. Okay, now to a normal person this would be three, um, three wins. Um, also, with uh, a zombie, if a zombie gets you, this is a bite. So, we don't want any of those. Alright, let's see if we can give it a go. Okay, so three. The zombie gets one to, to defend. I get one. So, I didn't shoot him. I probably just shot a leg out or something. Um, so, I laid him down in the prone position. So, but because I fired a shot, the threat attack is going to go up to two. Now, on some of the character sheets, they do have different threat levels. So, some are um, low, medium, high. And basically, um, that just says, like, their nerve. And if you are in high and they are low or medium, then they have to roll the yellow dice as I say to basically to kind of um, to decide what they're going to do because they, they may panic. All right, so pretty much this turn is mainly going to be my survivors spreading out a bit. Um, Shane does have a gun, and so does Rick, but each of them are 10 inch range, so they're not really going to be useful. So, during an action phase, you have um, you have certain actions that you can do, um, and you can only do one of them each. So you can move, you can shoot, you can hide, you can stand up, you can hold your nerve, swap an item, make noise, or a special action based on your character sheet. Now, Rick, as a leader, has the ability to lower the threat level, so you can use an action to lower the threat level. That may come in handy. <laughs> So, for this turn, I, I mean, literally, these guys can run. So, I'm pretty much going to run Rick and Carl over here. My, my plan is for these guys to kind of go around that way. Shane, um, Morgan, and Jim are probably going to go this way, clear up here, and then uh, Dale is going to pick out as many as he can. So he's gonna run to there. Again, no one's in range. They're just out of range. So they'll be fine. Shane's gonna run to there. Oh she is. So she's actually gonna shamble towards him. Whoa. Now he isn't in her kill zone, so that's good. And then he's going to back him up a bit. Dale's going to stay there. Now, two actions. So Shane could shoot that zombie, uh, the walker. See? See? You know, he and I slip up. Um, but that would bring that one over. Um, uh, but it could... He's going to shoot that one, because this, this one over here, although it would come, it still won't get close enough. So, he's going to shoot. So, he has, he actually has a white and a red, and then he gets an extra red for his, um, oh, so, white and a red, and then the revolver adds red. So, pretty much the same as what Dale would have had for his, um, let's see. Oh! So, we have a headshot. Great. So the zombie defends. No, so the zombie only gets uh, the walker. Again, see? The walker only gets one. So, bam! Shoots his head clean off. It's probably rolling around somewhere. But, it does attract this one. And it is going to shamble to that. Now, that's out of its kill zone. As you can see. Shane is quite safe from that one. 
Uh, so I haven't got to worry too much about that. Uh, no one else hasn't got really any actions. Um, so, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things, that's not too bad. Um, so from there, we're going to go to the event phase. So I haven't shuffled these. We'll probably need to shuffle these a bit. So the event phase, what happens is you resolve any conflicts with the walkers and then choose an event. Now the events are a little bit hair raising. So there's a storm coming. Plus one threat. Plus we get a threat anyway at the end of the turn because it's so long. All quiet, nothing happens yet. We're not all quiet. We're not technically low threat. The tension reaches fever pitch. Add one to the threat level immediately. Ah, oh, what? So that's low, medium, and high. He's already up to five. This isn't good, guys. And I've got to draw two more event cards. Oh, man. This isn't good. Oh. Won't stay down. All quiet and low threat. Okay. We're on, on low threat. Um, roll for each walker. We do have one down. On a shield, the walker gets up. No? Good. They stay down. Okay, but Roma's all quiet and low threat. So, we are low, low threat. Each player moves one eligible walker in the direction of their choice. So, as it's me, I just get to choose one walker. And I'm actually going to be safe. Um, no, I don't believe I can move this one because it has already moved this turn. So, I'm going to kind of make Rick and Carl's life a little easier. I'm going to move that one a bit. So, that should help them with that. Alright guys, so that is the end of round one. So, in that round, just to recap, we've got Rick and Carl about to try and do a run to the abandoned building over here. Where there's lots of uh, supply counters over there. Morgan is just heading straight here. There's one actually right here, so I think he's going to head there. Shane and Dale are on the on the case. They're like, look, we got to uh, got to get this. Dale is holding back. He's good with sharp shooting, so he's just going to pick off pretty much as many as he can to try and help them. So guys, let's crack on with. Round. Hey guys, so round two. So we still got Dale here on Overwatch. I'm a little worried. So I got um, Shane and Jim here. They're probably going to try and head for this supply counter where there's a walker here. And there's also another one there. Morgan is pretty badass. So he's probably just going to go straight up through. And then because Rick has Carl, he's going to be a little bit more cautious. But I'm probably going to kind of send them around there. So let's let's head with that. So... Dale's going to shoot, and uh, he can see through, so he's going to shoot that zombie, uh, walker, sorry, and see if we can, uh, you know, clear the way for them. Now, it will create noise, but, no, no, well, the walker gets knocked down, that's it, darn it, okay, bit of a waste shot, and the, the threat goes up by one, so, that's a little bit of a, yeah, but, now, he will create noise if he lands there. So, he's going to sneak there. He's going to take the supply counter. And he gets emergency supplies. Immediately restore one hip health point lost early in the game to the searching model. And all friendly survivor models within six inches. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, so Dale's got that. We're going to put that in his item slot. Alright. So, uh, sorry, Jim. So, Jim's got there. I'm pretty much going to keep these two together. So, we're literally just going to do that. And then, if I fire, he will come in right. Well, no, he won't. Okay, so Shane's actually going to shoot this walker here. So, Shane gets the same. 
Oh, look at that. Two headshots and a single shot. That that bug is gone. Right? We blew his head off, clean off. <laughs> we blew a few arms off as well. So that's great. Now it does raise the thread tracker. And usually within noise, there's no one. So they're pretty much clearing the way for getting there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so Rick and Carl, because there's no one, they're actually going to run. It does create noise, but shouldn't uh, it won't attract anyone Morgan is going to run now from where he is that one actually you know, so he's going to run up to there now this one from here actually doesn't pick it up because it's from where you start so Dale missed with the shot don't really have anything more to do Morgan actually has one more action. He's going to take down some uh, walk around. Now you can do that if they're laying down. There's a, a rule in, in the expansion that basically says if, if a uh, walker is prone, you can spend an action to get rid of it. So that's what we're doing. Don't really want it popping up next to Morgan. So let's see where we are. So we got Shane and Jim kind of over here moving towards this. I feel a bit like the weatherman here. <laughs> and over the sound we have some uh, beautiful sunshine and up the north we have storms. Um, <laughs> Morgan, he's about to take this supply counter and then take on that walker there and pretty much just head up the top. And we've got Rick and Carl. They're kind of, uh, Carl's being a little bit curious, uh, not curious, uh, cautious because he's got uh, Carl. Sorry, Rick is being cautious because he has Carl. So, We've got there, there, there are two supply counters together there, so I'm kind of thinking, oh, you know, if I can get them both up, we should be able to get that. And, and Dale is going to be on Overwatch because he pretty much can get anywhere on the board. He has a 30 inch shot, so I mean, he is pretty much just going to be the sniper of the, the group taking out shots. And that. Now, I'm not looking forward to it, I don't know if you guys can see, let me see if I can tilt the camera. So right at the back there, we do have a zombie police officer by in a car. Uh, that one's going to be a little bit... Well, the supply counter in there. I can't, I'm going to have to take the walker out to get that supply counter, but it should be good. So let's move on to the event phase. So the threat track always goes up by one when you're playing solo. Roamers. Now we're still on low threat. As you can see on the dial on the screen, we are still on low threat. So. Each player one's moves one eligible walker in a direction of their choice. Ooh, so make things interesting for you guys. I could make I well, I could move them out of my way and that wouldn't be really interesting for you. So I'm actually gonna move this guy right here into base combat with Morgan. Now that's gonna raise the threat trackers with there is combat, which is gonna take us to medium. And they're gonna attack. Now Morgan is gonna hit. He gets a red and a white. He gets one shot. The zombie just gets one. So he just gets pushed back a bit. And that's it. So then do the combat for that one. So let's get ready for round. Alright, guys, so round three. So. Basically, we're going to start off with Shane and Jim over here. Um, Jim is going to just take the supply counter. He's right there. So he's going to search for the supply counter. Um, and he gets uh, emergency supplies. You immediately restore one health point lost early in the game to the searcher model. And all friendly survive models within six inches. Let me see if I can get that in frame. Whoa, I'm <laughs> not very good at this. There we go. So, yeah. That's pretty cool for Jim. And then I'm actually going to move him. I kind of want him out of the way. Because I've got a funny feeling. So Shane is going to sneak up. And he's going to use an action to take out that prone walker. Bam. So that's those. Dale is going to... He's actually going to try and take out this walker here. Now, 
Morgan is kind of slightly in the way, but Dale can actually move, so he's going to move here a little bit. And now he's not. So, this should hopefully help Morgan. Oh, look at that. There's no way a zombie can defend against that, but he may be able to defend against the headshot. So, yes. Okay. But I actually, um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So he goes down. But it does give a chance. Morgan's going to move up and Morgan's going to search that. And what does Morgan get? He gets a fire extinguisher. So he gets to remove a burning token from a walk or train piece within the survivor's kill zone. Okay, that's pretty good. We probably won't have any fires. But he's actually a flame here. So that is possible, but doubtful. Okay, so that's Morgan. Shane took out that one. Jim took out one. Dale tried to shoot. So, Rick and Carl, they're actually going to run again. Because and they can. And then Rick is going to shoot that walker. Now, Rick has. He actually has two blues. So. Come on, Rick. No, three. Walker. Two. Just goes down. Alright, guys. That is the end of round three. So. Well, not quite. We actually have to move the tracker up one and pull out an event. Stay down. Ooh. We're on medium threat. As a low threat, in the, for each prone walker, roll a black dice. On a shield, they get up. Nope. Okay, in that one. Nope. Okay. If there are no prone walkers, add one. Okay. In addition, each player rolls a blue dice and moves that many eligible walkers in the direction of their choice. So, I'm going to move two. Hmm, what shall we do? I'm actually going to make a bit of danger here. I'm going to sneak that, or shamble, sorry. That walker that way. And then there's going to be one over here. I don't know if you guys can see, so we're going to move that one over to here. Adds a little bit of danger. And a little bit of excitement to this. So, okay, so at the moment... We've got Shane and Jim kind of taking up the left flank. Rick and Carl kind of going right flank. Morgan being badass, going straight up the middle. And then we got Dale on Overwatch, just kind of trying to nitpick and take things out as we go. Alright guys, so we're approaching round four. Let's see what's going to happen. So... We've got Shane and Jim over here, as I say, on the left flank. I'm thinking... Hmm... Thinking I'm going to rush... Did they both rush in? They're both being her kill right now. No. Um... Shane's going to sneak over here a little bit, the other side of this tree. He's going to... He's going to fire at that zombie. So, two reds and a white. Three hits. There's no, well, unless the walker gets a headshot. Which it does. So she just gets pushed back. But she does get drawn towards him. So she is going to shambles and be in contact with him. Whoa. But we don't resolve combat yet. So a gym's going to fire. It's going to be interesting because technically, well, she's in combat with him. So nothing. Yeah, he didn't get anything. Okay. So we'll, we'll resolve that combat in a minute. But he is going to move up and try and maybe help. Now, Morgan is going to try and sneak, is going to move up and actually take out this walker that he's fighting now. So that it's not, let me continue to move up there. 
Yeah. Yeah. Rick's going to fire the half eaten zombie on the floor. Um, it won't attract anyone this too in close. So, yeah, but we do need to raise the throw tracker because they fired. Now, Rick's going to shoot. Rick has the same. Oh, just one. Now, so, then zombies prone. But, they can both sneak now. Up to there. Dale. I think, I think Dale is going to take a part shot at this one here. He's so far out of range that it won't really do much. So, Dale gets the same. Whoop. Let's put those in. Headshot. Four, five. There's no way that Walker will be able to survive that. But. Oh, it is threat. So. This is a little nerve wracking. Alright. So now we got to do the combat. Shane versus that Walker. So Shane gets. Um, a white. He's going to actually attack. Well, actually, technically, as the zombie came to him, he's going to defend. Is how we're going to do it. So, the walker. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bite. Shane defend against a bite. No. Oh, damn. So, that's three points anyway. So, Shane is going to take a point of damage. i got to get him the old counter. Alright guys, round four. We are on the last of the uh, medium threats. Not many left. I'm, I'm a little worried to win. Basically what happens is the game ends when you get a high threat. If we haven't got all the survive counters, then we lost. Uh, Shane's been bent. He's only got a couple of life points left. A little worried about him, especially as Jim's nearby. Morgan looks like he's pretty much going to be going badass. And then Rick and Carl, they got one to deal there. So, who are we going to start off with? Well, you know what? We're going to start off with Rick and Carl. So, Rick's going to shoot that walker. Yes, blammo! Alright, but that did attract. We made noise. Did attract this one. And he's going to shambles over here. He's actually going to hit that walker there. But, Rick can move, so Rick is going to sneak over there. And Carl's actually going to sneak just behind his dad. I don't really want to. Morgan is just going to sneak and go straight into combat with that guy. Um, Dale is going to fire the one that's tackling Morgan. See if baby if we can help now. Because Morgan is kind of sliding out. Or oh, three. Okay. Hmm. Well, unless the zombie gets a bite. Which it doesn't. So the walk is down. And I'm actually going to cheat a little bit because I should have done Dale first. Um, Morgan's going to use his one action to take that. Walk her out. Now, here. <laughs> Jim's mm, nope. Shane is going to move into base combat with that walker. The reason being is because it can't be moved out of combat when Jim tries to shoot. So Jim is going to try and shoot. And he has a red dice. Nothing. So, no good there. But Shane can. Even though he's in base, he can, he still gets an action. And he does. Oh, oh wow. He just annihilates that walker. Alright. So. Yes, yeah, so what are we going to do? Pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much all we can do for this one. 
So let's see. Okay, so drag track goes up by one. And we got an event. Thunderstorm. All storm all sudden the storm breaks out and immediately discard all gory clothing cards. Oh. While the storm is in effect, survivors cannot shoot a target more than eight inches away unless they first roll a shield on the action die. In the end phase, after rolling for prone walkers to remove one burning token. At the start of each subsequent event phase, the player with initiative rolls a black dice on a shield, the storm ends, and this card is discarded. Oh, and it adds plus one to the strat. Oh man, we've only got two left. Ah, uh, we're not gonna make this, guys. We're, we're not. We're not gonna make this. No. So let's head over to the next round. So I'm, I made a mistake. This is actually round five. I, I think I, I remember saying at the beginning of this round it was four. This is round five. So we're gonna be heading into round six with only two points. Left on the uh, threat tracker. Oh man. Alright, guys, round six. So we got the thunderstorm. Oh man. This is going to make things a little bit difficult now, but it does say at the start of each subsequent event phase, we can do that. So we're actually going to try, and Dale is going to try and see if he can take out the walker by. Rick, um, he's got to roll a shield to be able to do it, otherwise he's not going to be able to. Oh, and he does! Oh, yes, okay. So that means that he can, uh, he, he can basically, uh, he can shoot out that target. So, let's give him a bit of cover. Ah, oh, but he didn't do anything. No, just the walker's down. Alright, but that's all Dale can do. Rick and Carl, I'm actually going to need to measure because they're right there. We're going to move Rick over here and Carl over there. Both of those are going to take one. So, Rick first. He gets a Molotov cocktail. The nice. And Carl. He gets a 2x4. Not bad. Okay. Alright. So we'll take those. How many supply accounts have we got left, guys? One, two... Three, four. I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't need to be in a name any, but I think we're gonna make it. All right. So let's see. Um, thread tracker goes up to one. All right. Yep. Jim's gonna run up there and grab that supply counter. He gets bandages. Alright. Chain's gonna run to there. Whoa! He's got some of the building. Okay, come in, Jim. Give me that. Alright. So, Morgan is gonna sneak up there because I really don't want to attract those two. This could be the last round. Oh man. Vent. Medium threat. No, we're in high threat. As medium threat, all prone walkers immediately stand up. Oh. <laughs> okay. Medium threat. Two blues. Walkers end up playing the same walkers. I'll move towards the nearest survivor. Two. Three. Now. We haven't got much left, so I'm pretty much going to just put three. And they're going to come from uh, this board edge here. And the threat tracker goes up by one. So we're at 18. And that's the end of it. We didn't survive. We fired. So, yeah, I mean, let's. Uh, we kind of lost this one. Um, it should have been easy, but... We'll go into the the, uh, the battle breakdown breakdown and uh, see what uh, see what our thoughts are. <laughs> Silly mistakes made. Um, maybe utilised Dale too much to shoot. That kind of kept raising the threat level. Um, 
should have moved instead of kind of weaving up and should have just moved forward um, Shane again Ben didn't really slow him down too much but yeah we kind of should have just moved up a lot quicker uh, this board is definitely a lot harder because it's a lot bigger board um, the starter set you probably get about this um, but <coughs> I like this size board so I had to give it a try so I mean we could have lasted longer if I hadn't used so many guns. I was just worried about getting bitten a lot and trying to clear the way. Um, yeah, guys, so that's the Walking Dead All Out War. Now, I probably got some rules wrong. I haven't played too much. So if you guys have played the game, please tell us the rules, if we got any rules wrong. Um, yeah, I mean, I love this game. Now, there is a new version coming out called, uh, I believe it's called Call to Arms. And uh, it's uh, basically like the successor for the same, same models. <coughs> it's kind of same gameplay. The uh, but we'll, we'll do a video on that um, soon. So yeah, the game guys, I give this game a 10 out of 10. It just has everything. I can play it solo, like you've seen. I can play it with people. You can have many groups of survivors. You got three, four, five different groups of survivors. Um, the models are beautiful. Now, as I said in the beginning, you get a starter set with uh, three uh, 2D terrain, but you, look, you can fill up the board. Um, these cars pretty much just come from Walmart. I think what I'm going to do with these is kind of rough them up a bit, make them look not so new and shiny. Um, I got some other ones I made for Terminator Genesis. Um, they're kind of a bit busted, but they're actually a little bit too small, so... Probably going to do the same to some of these. Um, and you can mix fantasy and normal terrain. Most of this is actually fantasy terrain. The church, the blacksmith, and these kind of alpine buildings are designed for frost grade. But, because this is a, a church, um, let me just see if I can show you. So there's the church. It kind of fits it, because church would have old buildings around it. So there you have it, guys. That is... The Walking Dead, all out war. You guys have a great day. Keep on rolling those dice.